Now we're going to shift our focus to the Philippines where the Office in Education and Culture Atache work with the Women's Dharma Union or known right here as uh, Dharma Wanita under the Indonesian Embassy in the Philippines had conducted a batik making workshop on August the 27th of this year. I love the batik traditions and embassies. The Guta Tamarind Batik Workshop was also conducted in celebration of Indonesia's 77th independence anniversary. To enliven the 77th Indonesian independence anniversary, a Guta Tamarind Batik making workshop was held at the residence of the Ambassador of the Indonesian Embassy in Manila, Philippines. The event was attended by 50 participants who were spouses of the Head of Missions in Manila, Embassy Ladies, ASEAN Ladies Foundation or ALF, Museum Volunteers of the Philippines, Polytechnic University of the Philippines and the Indonesian Diaspora in the Philippines. The event was opened directly by the Indonesian Ambassador in Manila, a retired Indonesian Army Lieutenant General Agus Wijojo, who highlighted Batik as a very important cultural heritage for Indonesia. Batik making using Guta Tamarind has quite unique method using tamarind seed pulp mixed with a kind of vegetable fat and inscribed onto the fabric only by using plastic. The purpose of this method is used as an alternative material for environmental friendly batik creations. In addition to the batik making workshop, the activity was also enriched with a fashion show by Citra Srikandi Indonesia.